Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today lying down. So make your way down onto your mat and place your feet on the floor with your knees and your feet hip width apart. Relax the arms down by your side and stretch your fingertips towards your heels, pressing into those arms and shoulders, opening through the chest here. We're gonna breathe deeply into the belly with no engagement in the tummy whatsoever. Take a deep breath in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Doing this again, sending your breath all the way down to the lower belly and breathe out, release it out completely. From here, we're gonna draw that belly button towards the lower back, breathing in, press the lower back into the floor. Feel the tummy muscles engage. On your exhale, float your right leg into tabletop. So knee is in line with your hip, calves parallel to the floor, toes pointed. Take another breath in here. Exhale, extend that right leg to hover off the floor. Breathe in, bend back into a perfect right angle. Exhale, extend, lowering the right foot to hover and then inhale, bending in the knee in line with the hip. Exhale, extend, push away with those toes. Imagine you're sending your foot through something resistant, like treacle or honey. Exhale, stretch and hover the right leg, and then breathe and bend in. Two more on this side, warming up through the hips, those tummy muscles switching on on the right side. Extend and bend. This time extend your right leg and keep it there. We're gonna lift that straight leg up towards the ceiling, turn your right knee towards your right shoulder, and then follow through into one leg circle. So you're opening up through the right hip. Now that left leg is just there. We're not pressing into the left foot. We're not lifting the bum up off the floor. We're opening up through this right hip and isolating through the right hip joint as much as you possibly can. Two to go here, warming up through that right hip. And then last one. Now, bend your right knee, place your right foot on the floor, breathe in, left leg finds tabletop. Exhale, extend that left foot to hover off the floor, and then breathe in, bend back in. Check in with your right side here, you're not pushing into that right foot. Your upper body is still switched on even though it's not moving. Your chest is open. Your tummy muscles are zipped up, that lower back is on the floor, protecting your lumbar or your lower spine bending the knee into that perfect right angle, not allowing your calf to be lazy. Inhale, bending back in, extending those toes as if you're traveling through water, and then bending back in. Last two here, exhale, extend. So maybe if you haven't already, bring in that Pilates breath, breathing out through the mouth, the H-A sound, inhaling through the nose, sending the breath into the rib cage. Now, keep that leg straight, we lift it up for one leg circle, and we circle out to the left, opening up through this left hip. And sometimes these easier exercises or um, more beginner level exercises can be frustrating if you wanna jump straight into a strong core workout. But they're so beneficial, you're isolating a hip joint here, learning to move from that left hip without moving the rest of the body using your tummy muscles to stabilize through your pelvis, opening up through the chest, your shoulders working too. Couple more here, opening up through that left hip. And then last one. From here, bend your left knee into your chest. Right hand finds the inside of the left knee, left hand towards the ankle, full version of one leg stretch. We extend that right foot to hover off the floor. Lift through the upper body, look in between the legs. We pull the left knee, we switch to the right. Make sure that outside hand or your right hand is on your right ankle, your left hand is on your left ankle or towards the left ankle. Peeling the shoulder blades up off the floor. Keep the chest open, the chin tucked to protect your neck and the upper body is strong and steady. You're not pulling one knee towards, or you're not bobbing from right to left with the upper body. That's what I'm trying to say. Your nose stays in line with your breastbone and your belly button. Hug and switch. Hug and switch. One last breath cycle, right, left, and then right, left, and then relax. Hug the knees into the chest, hands to the backs of the legs, gently rock from side to side, and then place the feet in the floor, or on the floor. Cactus the arms for shoulder bridge. So try and get the backs of the hands, the forearms, the elbows on the floor. We breathe and press the lower back down. Breathe out, push and lift those hips up high. Inhale at the top, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, draw the belly button in and release the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly, controlled, 
relaxing the hips into their natural shape or natural position at the bottom. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up high. Inhale, squeeze through the glutes here. And then exhale, release the spine down slowly. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly and controlled, relax the hips. Two to go, breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet, lift the hips high. Inhale at the top, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, release the spine down slowly and controlled. Allow your hips find their natural shape. And then one last time, breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet, lift those hips up high. Inhale at the top and squeeze through the glutes. And exhale, release the spine down slowly. Relaxing the hips into their natural shape at the bottom. Draw the knees in, double leg stretch, hands to the shins, lift through the upper body. Let's do a harder version. So we inhale, hug the knees in tight, let that tailbone lift. Exhale, stretch the legs, lower them to hover off the floor, feet in Pilates V. Breathe in, hug the knees in, exhale, stretch, extending through the whole body here. Exhale, breathe in, hug the knees in, and breathe out, stretch to hover. Breathe in, hug the knees in again, and exhale, stretch to hover. Breathe in. Exhale it out. So that Pilates breath is so beneficial here, where you're zipping up through your tummy muscles, targeting those inner tummy muscles, your transverse abdominis or your TA. Last two, extend, and one more time, breathe in and breathe out. From here, lower the legs all the way down. Reach your arms overhead, take a breath into the belly. Exhale it out. One more deep breath into the belly. And breathe out, let it go. Extend your arms up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale, make your way all the way up into a seated position. First time may be difficult. Moving the legs in or forward if you need to, but make sure you've got mat to roll back onto. We're going to inhale, reach forward, palms facing up. Exhale, roll down to the mat, scooping through those tummy muscles. Breathe in, reach the arms up and over, and then find your way back into the seated position for the roll up. Inhale, reach forward, tuck the chin in. Exhale, roll and scoop through the core as you roll down. Breathe in the arms up and over, find length. Exhale, use your breath. One more time just like this, and we're gonna add a saw. Exhale, roll down to the mat. Breathe in, arms up and over. Exhale, use your breath. <sighs> Widen the legs, so a little wider than hip width, or maybe hip width. Reach up with those arms, find length. Exhale, saw, right little finger, left little toe, look over that left shoulder. Breathe in the arms up again, and exhale, saw the other way. Right arm goes back, reach with the left arm. Breathe in the arms up again. Find length here. This is just as important as the saw itself. You want to have that strong, tall spine in the center. Exhale. Breathing in, reaching up, finding length. Exhale, saw. Right little finger towards the left little toe. You don't have to touch that little toe. So you don't have to force the exercise. You want to have your sit bones or your bum cheeks on that floor. They do not lift. So inhale, find length, exhale, saw, stretching from both ends. Going as far as you can, exhale. But keeping that strong base, your sit bones glued to the floor. Breathe in, find length, opening up. Exhale, sawing, looking over the opposite shoulder. And then stretching again, one last set here. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, finding length, looking up. Exhaling, saw. Inhale, reach up, palms facing forward this time, spine stretch forward. Create space between the vertebrae, take a breath in. Exhale, flip the palms and roll all the way to the floor. Make sure you've mat to come down onto. Inhale, reach the arms up and over. Exhale, make your way straight back up again. Inhale, look up, reach up. Mexican wave down, fingertips to the floor, breathe in. Exhale, slowly make your way down. Flip those palms as you come down. Spread through the fingers here. Get movement into the hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, use your breath. Palms in towards each other as you come all the way up. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, spine stretch forward. Fingertips to the floor, inhale. Exhale, flip the palms. Slowly make your way down for the last time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, use your breath. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, spine stretch. Hold here for a breath. In through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Press those fingertips into the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Send the hands to the backs of the legs and then walk forward on your bum. 
From here, we're gonna lift the feet up, point the toes, big toes come together, open leg rocker, inhale, send your body back, stretch the legs, exhale, bring it up. Do this again one more time, we're gonna to add to it, breathe in and breathe out. Now extend into a star-like shape, drop onto the lower back, catch the legs. Breathe in, roll it back, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, extend. And if you feel this is too much, you can keep your hands to the backs of the legs and do a half version. You don't have to go the whole way. But if you've got that core strength to bring yourself back up, do it. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Breathe in, extend. Exhale, bend back in. Last two, breathe in, roll. Exhale, rock up. Inhale, stretch it out. Feel the strength in your body as you bring yourself back. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out, bring it up. Inhale, stretch and exhale, catch. Flip over onto your right side and then lower onto your right forearm, your right elbow. Now lift from that right side of the waist. Then allow your chest to open. Reach up with the left arm, lift the hips up. Feel that strength in your obliques. Reach up and over with the left arm here. And then we circle around with that left arm. Follow the arm with your gaze. Four, three, open for two. And then one more time. Change direction of the circle. Full range of movement in that left shoulder. Two, three, four, and then last one, five. Okay, from here, you're gonna reach that left arm over, extend for your left leg and circle with the left hip for five, for four. Keep that core strong. Two, the circle doesn't have to be that big. Change direction. Inhale through the nose, drop those hips if you need to. Three, two, and one. Lower the hips all the way down, extend through your right arm, lift the two legs to hover off the floor, rest your head, reach up with that left arm and slip your left fingernails to the right side of the waist. Chest is open, click your heels, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. Keep your core strong and steady using your, or working on your balance here, but you can use those left fingertips behind you if you need to. Last two, and one, and release. Come over onto your belly, single leg kick, elbows in line with your shoulders. Yes, forearms out in front, fingers spread here. Now point through the toes, press into the forearms, pull that chin in, kick twice with your right heel, and extend, kick twice with the left, and extend, point through those toes. Sending one foot towards the bum and then stretching it out. Pull that chin in. Keep the length in the neck. Breathe in, kick, kick. Stretch it out. Keep pressing that pelvic region into the floor. And then checking in with your upper body constantly. Engaging through those tummy muscles. Left leg. One more time and we're gonna jump straight into double leg kick. So from here, remove the arms, or send the arms behind you. Hands to the lower part of your back, bend the elbows, kick twice, one, two, and then stretch it all out. Breathe in, kick, kick, and exhale out. Breathe in, kick twice, exhale, stretch and find length. Breathe in, kick, kick, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in, kick twice, exhale, stretch. So you can have the legs together, or you can have them hip width apart. And if you need to let go of a hand to straighten the arms, you can do that as well. Always finding a version of the exercise that suits your body. Doesn't have to be the same as mine. And if there's any pain or discomfort, just tweak it. If you need to leave the chest on the floor and stretch the arms and the legs straight without that extension in the lower back, you can do that. Working on your coordination last two. And one more time. So hands in underneath the shoulders. Deep breath in, exhale, push yourself up. Reach your hips back, take a breath here. Exhale, ripple into a half plank position. Tuck the toes, full plank, hold for three breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more, nice strong upper body, push into those hands. Shoulders strong, spin the inner elbows forward. Last breath here. And then we lower the knees down, reach the hips back, take a breath. And then come back up, we're gonna flip. Left forearm, left elbow. Checking in with your posture, lifting from the left side of the waist. Reach up and away with your right arm. We lift the hips up, find length here. Reach up and over with the right arm. Circle for five, 
full range of movement. Swing that arm around for four. Follow your arm with your gaze. Last two here. One last time. Change direction, circling forward or back if you went forward with the first time. Two more. And then last one. From here, either hand to the hip or reach it away. Lift up through that right leg, circle for five, for four, and I know this might be a little uncomfortable. Two, and one, change direction. Four, three, two, and one, lower the hips down. Extending through that left arm, two legs lift, reach up with the right arm, send your right fingernails to the left side of the waist and click those heels. Open, close as fast as you can, keeping that long sideline posture, engaging your tummy muscles. Breathing into all of that space in the chest, the lungs, keeping your core engaged. Head is relaxed, chest, shoulders open, one more breath and relax those legs down. Hand comes out in front, push yourself up, swing the legs forward. And then from here, hands to your shins or the backs of the legs, roll down onto the mat, hug the knees in and gently rock from side to side. Allow your feet find the floor again, opening up through the belly, flip the palms, allow the knees fall to the left, turn your head to the right. Take a breath in here. And then slowly bring the knees back through the center, knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Breathe in here. And then slowly back through the middle, allowing your arms and your legs find a place now that feels comfortable for you in this moment. Make it your own. And then let those eyes close over, tuning into your body, tuning into your breath. Allowing yourself look inwards for these few minutes without judgment, allowing everything to slow. The breath filling up the belly again, allowing the arms, the legs feel heavy, the body recharging, opening up, welcoming, that soothing inhale, letting go on your exhale, releasing, breathing and filling up, exhaling out, letting go. Now extending some movement to the fingers, the toes again. Allow that head to gently move from side to side. Drawing your knees into your chest and hugging your knees in. Gently rocking from side to side here. If you can, entwine the fingers on the shins or above the shins. Allowing your head to join in, the body slowly waking up. Sipping your hands to the backs of the legs. Now extend your legs up towards the ceiling and pull your knees towards your upper body. Gently rock here as well. 
Maybe the head joins in. Bending the knees in, take a breath in, hug your knees in tight. Exhale, rock up into a seated position. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.